has an incredible legacy of civil rights giants like Hose John Lewis, Hosea Williams, Joseph Lowry, and C.T. Vivian, who devoted and often risked their lives fighting for justice and freedom. Yeah, there were some luminaries, but with those trailblazers no longer with us, who is leading the charge today? Well, recently, I sat down with three leaders aiming to carry the torch here in Atlanta. So what keeps me in the street, what keeps me focused, is we have not achieved justice. You have to have that moment of, get, stop talking. Do the, what are you doing? Representation is important, but it's about what you do when you get there. Three voices with a common goal, continuing a movement Atlanta civil rights giants pioneered. We are gonna march, we're gonna make sure that we are causing that good trouble that Congressman Lewis spoke about, but we've gotta take it a step further and institute the policies that actually change people's lives. Representative Nakima Williams succeeded the late John Lewis in Congress and like him, has pushed bills aimed at protecting voting rights. When the right to vote is restricted, then you can restrict your right to everything else in this country. Another key focus for her, economic equality. I moved here from rural Alabama because Atlanta was the place where black people could come and grow and prosper. And yet Atlanta still has one of the largest racial wealth gaps in the country. So I know that sitting on the House Financial Services Committee, I have work to do. We know that we have problems with public housing, we, have, we know we have hospital closures. We know we have low income. We know we have a very terrible minimum wage. How do we create these differences? How do we change these circumstances? Whose job is it to hold accountable? Activist and community organizer Scotty Smart has long been vocal about issues affecting Atlanta's black community and stresses the importance of showing up to hold leaders accountable. But if you're not in these rooms, if you're not showing up to your city council meetings, if you're not showing up to your county commission meetings, then how do you know where these resources lie? How do you know what can be afforded to you if you aren't in the rooms or even in the conversation. There's a need for the NAACP. It's been underscored by the rise in hate, by the rise in, in intolerance and racial aggression. While Ahmaud Arbery and George Floyd's cases re-energize activism, Gerald Griggs, who leads Georgia's NAACP conference, says it's important to remember the big picture. A viral moment is just that, a viral moment. We are in a movement and we have to focus and make sure that we achieve the goals of the movement. Griggs points to some progress in areas like police accountability and says just like the movement of the 50s and 60s, today's fight is nuanced with different approaches. All three leaders agree for lasting change, there must be greater unity within. Some people feel like they've arrived and so they're not as clear on what the directive and the, the pathway forward is. But I do think we are unified for the working class and those that are still searching and dreaming and, and hoping for that reality that is supposed to be Atlanta. You have a lot of individualism. You have a lot of people who are financially winning in their own space. Um, but you don't have the sense of unity and togetherness that we had of previous generations. Atlanta is indeed moving in the right direction, and I see a bright future of us really living that beloved community that Congressman Lewis and Dr. King spoke about. Some great perspectives there from three of Atlanta's own. And, and as you heard them say, it's so important to do the things that Dr. King did and John Lewis did. It's, it's okay to march, it's okay to protest, but also go to your council meetings, you yeah. know, get involved, show up and really affect change. And take that viral moment mm -hmm. off of Instagram, off of Facebook and put some action into it yep. and create that movement like Mr. Griggs was saying. It is about the action. And 11 yeah. Alive will be sharing more of Atlanta's stories surrounding Black History Month this weekend. Our own Naima Abdullahi serves as your host for Dream and Disrupt, Bold Atlanta's, Black Atlanta's rather bold movement. The special airs next Friday, February 16th at 8 p.m., of course, right here on 11 Alive. And you can also watch our full interviews right now on our 11 Alive Plus streaming app. It is free to download on your Roku, Amazon Fire, or Apple TV device. Well,